all so much for tuning in. Today's video is a super duper easy and affordable bathtub caddy slash planter, whatever you want to use it for. I have seen these everywhere, especially online, and some of them are really, really pricey. The first one that I saw was actually on the Pier 1 Instagram, and it's this little caddy that says everything but the kitchen sink. And then I saw another one which was adorable at Michael's, and that one was about $30. So I figured why not recreate them using Dollar Tree materials. So in this video, I actually have two Dollar Tree versions and one with a little added bonus, which really didn't end up being much more expensive than the Dollar tree one. So I really hope that you enjoy this video and stick around by subscribing to this channel. Once you hit that subscribe button, we instantly become best friends. We just become best friends. Yep. And please hit that notification bell so you know every time I post a video. Let's go ahead and get started. For this project, I'm going to be using these tins from Dollar Tree. These are planters and you can paint them whatever color you want, but you will be able to see the flowers and garden because it is indented in. So if you don't want that, you can use something like this or one of the bigger buckets, but you can see here that there is an indentation. So you're going to see it no matter what color you paint it. I wanted mine to look like an enamel tub, so I used Rust-Oleum's Gloss White. I prefer using Rust-Oleum over Krylon when it comes to projects like this. It's just a personal preference, but you can use what you want. So I'm flipping this over and I tried to get as much of the sticker off as possible, but nobody's going to see this. And I'm going to go ahead and spray paint everything using my spray paint, and then I'm going to go ahead and spray paint the inside. I waited until the spray paint was completely dry before flipping it over and painting the inside. It is really cold out, which means it takes a lot longer for things to dry. So make sure that you have patience with this or you'll end up with a ton of paint drips. Now that everything is completely dry, I'm gonna go ahead and add my details. And you can do this in whatever order you want, paint first or feet, but I wanted to add the feet. And for that, I used the Dollar Tree chess game. Now it's gonna bring 16 of these pieces, which is what I use for the feet. So you can make four planters with this and I'm gonna attach it using the E6000. I'll leave the link to that little key below because I always get questions. And now I'm just going to start to figure out where I'm going to place them. You can mark this with a ruler, you can put them all the way to the edges, but I wanted to make sure that it would hold weight evenly. So I tried to get them as centered as possible. The inside of these chest pieces are hollow, so you're going to apply your E6000 to the edges. Be really generous and make sure that you're allowing this plenty of time to dry because this is going to be holding all of your weight. So a minimum should be 24 hours. Make sure that you don't skip the dry time because this is really important. Once it's completely dry, you should be able to stand it up with no toppling over and it should sustain all of your weight. Now you can leave it blank, but I'm gonna go ahead and outline those letters using an acrylic paint pen and I'll link this below, but you can find it at Walmart. You can also use a Sharpie if you don't wanna spend the extra money or a very thin paintbrush and paint. So I'm just gonna go over the indentations with my pen and it doesn't have to be perfectly neat. If it does look a little sloppy, that's okay because it's supposed to look a little weathered. And if you don't wanna do this step at all, you don't have to. You can even take some sandpaper and buff off a little bit of that white so that the original color shows through. It's all up to you. I'm working my way from the outside in so that I don't smudge any of the letters. Now, because I'm recording this, I can't really move this around too much, but if it is a lot easier for you to flip this over and move things around, go ahead and do that. It's what makes it easier for you. It's just really hard to get angles that actually show up on camera, which is why you see me struggling with moving this around. After I've outlined both sides, because this is in the back, I'm going to use an angled brush 
and some black matte paint from Apple Barrel. This is like 97 cents at Walmart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna outline that lip that you see at the top and at the bottom so that it looks even more like an enamel tub. Now you can go ahead and do this with a foam brush and it'll probably make it a little easier. You can even just dip your finger in there and outline it. It's up to you how you wanna do it. This also doesn't have to look very neat. In fact, the more weathered it looks, the better it is. Did the same thing to the top making sure that it spills over just a bit to the inside and I'm pretty sure using a foam brush would have made this process a whole lot faster but it's up to you what you use and randomly with my brush I am going to start making little scuff marks so I'm just gonna dip my brush in and just kind of add little random pieces where it looks like the paint might have chipped you can also grab some orangey paint and create little rust spots I accidentally dipped my finger in paint and created little spots on the other side and I think that looks great so I left one version like this and added my Meyer stuff and my towels and I think this is the simplest version the cheapest and so cute for the second Dollar Tree version, I decided to add a faucet using a candy cane which I found on clearance at Dollar Tree. You can skip this step and just get PVC pipe at Home Depot, but since this is all Dollar Tree, I use this candy cane. I removed everything and cut the bottom. I'm sorry I lost that footage. And since it has all that seasonal writing on there, I decided to spray paint it black. And for the handles, I use these little soap pumps, which I got at Dollar Tree as well. You can search your house to see if maybe you have soap pumps which are ready to be recycled and use that. And then I gave everything a coat of Rust-Oleum's matte black. This does look shiny when you first start spray painting, but it does dry down to a beautiful matte shade. Now that everything is dry, it's starting to look a little bit more put together. You can still see the writing and the indentations, which is why if you prefer PVC pipe, it would probably look a little better, but I think it looks really good for an all Dollar Tree version. I'm gonna add a strip of E6000 right here because I want it right in the middle. And because this doesn't dry instantly, I'm also going to add some hot glue so that it holds in place while it dries. I'm gonna try and get this as centered as possible. And once it is dry, I'm going to add my handles using the same E6000 and hot glue mix. Now, this is going to overlap just a little bit on the lip, but I feel like it makes it look a lot more realistic. And I think it looks fantastic. I think this version would look great by your sink. So I decided to add my Myers dish soap and my walnut scrubbers. This video is definitely not sponsored by Grove Collaborative, but if you do want to try them out, they do have a ton of offers going on right now, where if you sign up, they do give you hand soap, dish soap, paper towels, ton of freebies. And if you're an existing customer, you do get free walnut scrubbers so I'll leave that link below but I love this version for my not all Dollar Tree version I'm gonna use the same candy cane although since it's not all Dollar Tree you can use PVC pipe and I'm gonna go ahead and make a vertical cut as straight as possible using really good scissors because this plastic is pretty tough Now I'm gonna spray paint it the same color as a tub, but you can spray paint this gold, silver, whatever color you want your faucet to be. I just didn't want to have the trouble of matching the same gold as my faucet, so I went ahead and did white. And when it was completely dry, I used this little multi-turn hose from Lowe's. On the website, it says it's 618, but I paid about $4 for it, so I don't know how true the website is. I added some E6000 to my pipe and placed that in and it fit 
perfectly and now I'm going to attach it using the same way I did the other one using hot glue and E6000. After seeing them all together I kind of regret not painting this matte black as well but I still think it looks super cute. I made sure that it was perfectly straight and then I used it as a planter but of course you can also use it for your bathroom to hold your hand soap and towels. So that's it. Those are the three versions of the enamel tub. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Make sure that you check the description for all of the items used for the Grove Collaborative offer and thank you so so much for watching. Till next time.